for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some DIY IKEA hacks. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. But just in case, I wanted to let you guys know I upload every Thursday and Sunday now. So YouTube's been a little bit weird, but you can always check my channel on Thursdays and Sundays and expect a new upload. I link everything in the description box that I use in each of my DIY videos. So if you want to head down there and check that out. Follow me on Instagram because I also do a giveaway on my Instagram every single Thursday. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump right into it. For the first IKEA hack, we're going to be making these organizational drawers and basically for this what you're going to need is this plain set of organizational drawers from IKEA. You're going to need a wooden dowel, the paint color of your choice, wood glue, a foam brush, a handheld saw, and lastly you're just going to need a ruler and a pen. So you're going to begin by painting the back of the drawers because that is going to become the new front of your drawers. So you're going to go ahead and paint all the backs of all six of these drawers and while you're letting that dry you can move on to the next step which is measuring out your wooden dowel and I went ahead and measured out increments of two inches. So after you've measured that you're just going to take your handheld saw and go ahead and cut those out. You should be left with six pieces. Then you can line up the drawers and put your new little handles on there just to make sure everything is nice and lined up before you go in with the wood glue. I recommend only using a small amount of this wood glue because a little bit of it goes a long way. I also recommend letting it dry about four to five hours. That'll make sure that it's the most secure onto the new drawers. And after you have let that dry and it's all done, you have this really cool new revamped set of organizational drawers. For the next hack, we're going to be changing this lantern into a hanging planter. So for this, you're just going to need the IKEA lantern, some rocks, a small container or pot, and lastly, a plant. Mine is also from IKEA. So begin by taking your rocks and adding a small layer to the bottom of your glass container. All you have to do here is repot the plant into it. Make sure the little container is small enough to fit inside the lantern, and you're good to go. You can even hang this up from your ceiling and turn it into a hanging planter, or have it sitting like I do. And the best part is there is a hole at the top so the plant can still grow through. I absolutely love the way this looks and I can't wait to hang it from my ceiling. For the next IKEA hack, we're making this side table a little bit more trendy and modern. So for this, you're going to need the side table, some white spray paint, wood stain, a foam brush, something to cover your workspace, and lastly, a pair of gloves. So for this, I would begin by just staining all of the pieces of wood. I find it easier to do this before you put it all together. And the next step is you're gonna add one light layer of spray paint to only one side of the glass piece. Now, when you put this back together, make sure the part that you spray painted is facing the floor. And then you're gonna go ahead and put the remainder of it all together. And it's as simple as that. You've revamped this new side table that could also work as a nightstand. I love this hack because it makes this piece look a lot more expensive than it actually was. This last DIY is super simple, but I have been on the hunt for a vase set for the longest time and they're just so expensive. So I found these really random different vases from different sets that were all random colors and I just decided to take a simple few layers of this spray paint to them and make them all white and then put them together. And they just look so expensive and so amazing and they're exactly what I've been looking for. And they were just so much cheaper than the sets that I have been seeing at some of my other favorite furniture stores. So those those were my IKEA hacks. I hope you enjoyed them. Be sure to check out my other videos on my channel. Subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!